Hello everybody, we're going to look at another ink today. I'm going to do some writing samples, do a couple of little swatches, and try... I'm going to do some writing samples in different papers, something I've been doing lately, just to find out how it works. And the ink in question is uh, a brand that's relatively new to me. A friend of mine gave me um, a bottle of Dominant Industries uh, Tuna Gray. I haven't done a video on that yet. Um, and it's and what we're going to look at today, though, is uh, Dominant Industries um, Wonder Pen's exclusive Ginger Chicken. Tuna Gray is also a Wonder Pen's uh, exclusive. Um, and I, I'm going to tell you what I like about this this packaging. <laughs> well, it, it it's. It, it's one of those pack like sometimes you get a bottle it's not really an inspiring at that thing um you know it just comes in a plastic box or something like that and it's it's fine and it, but the ink might be great this is really nice ink and it has a fun package it, you know it's card i like cardboard boxes for my inks and i i keep the boxes and i store my inks on my shelf in the boxes mostly to protect them against light and things like that and also it's if they were to it offers some protection if i was to accidentally knock it off the shelf right um so what i like about this it, you open it up you know what if you didn't want to keep the cardboard box it's also recyclable compostable whatever um so you open it up and there's this fun little bag inside i like the little touches like these i like when a company puts a bit of extra into their packaging and oddly enough you can use this bag for different things too it's really cool it does it has their logo on it it seems to be some kind of fabric drawstring kind of nice little gift not that you're going to go wandering around with a bag of ink <laughs> but it's just a little touch that i quite like really lovely bottle i i one of the things i love about the fountain pen harvest hobby is the aesthetic qualities of fountain pen inks and the packaging and the beauty of their design and you know it, it, i'm a sucker for that kind of stuff and it also comes with this little pipette so if you wanted to do a sample for a friend you you have a, a dedicated uh pipette or uh, you know bulb syringe i guess you would call it for the color another nice little touch it's one of those things they don't really have to do but they did and I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just going to go set it over there. But like I say, I keep the cardboard boxes and I keep the, the bottles, even though they're beautiful, you know, I do keep them in the boxes. And, you know, I, it's just to keep them safe and also provide light protection, things like that. And now the pen in question that I have is a Twisby Vac Mini. And as you can see, I've, I had filled this up quite a bit more and I've been using it a lot. So <laughs> it's draining out. Nice little pen stand, by the way, from uh, copperist.wu, W-U, copperist. I'll put a link in the description for that. Uh, so I did a little swatch to start. I'm just going to drop some water on it and see what happens over time. And set that aside. Who knows what will happen. It's already lifting. <laughs> That's what happens. And we're going to do some swatches on different papers. So I have several different papers that I, I've been using. And we'll see how they work. Uh, this is um, an extra fine nib. Uh, I'm not going to time the drying time. I'm not too worried about that. I'm patient. When I'm writing on a journal and it's taking a while to dry, I just don't close the journal. <laughs> but I am going to try to put the same, roughly the same amount of ink down and see what happens. I guess I'm dipping each time, wasting ink. But oh well. I'm trying to get a space. Still quite a bit of ink in there, so I'm not too worried. <laughs> yeah, so I have 
done a few other samples, uh, studies on these papers. And over time, it's interesting to do these things. Uh, right off the bat, I would say it's not the fastest drying ink I have. And that's okay. Uh, everything is pretty much still wet, except for the barren fig, which was the first one. And I'm just going to... Yeah, actually, it's... I don't know how long it's been, but, you know, it's still taking a time to dry. Hmm. Interesting. So it's a slower drying ink. If I was smart, I'd be doing all kinds of studies, have a stopwatch for each one, etc., etc. But there are better ink people out there than, my, than me. <laughs> I am a no expert. That's one thing. But I do love doing things like this. Yeah, so dominant industries. And it's ginger chicken. Now, who, what is, why ginger chicken? Um, <laughs> If you're uh, familiar with Wonder Pens, it's a stationery sh store in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. They have two cats. One is Ginger and one is... Um, I'm writing that right. <laughs> I'm writing... I, 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 uh, ah, one is... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to write and think at the same time. Something that apparently is impossible for me. So they have two cats. Tuna and Chicken. I think Chicken was the original cat. One is a ginger cat, and the other one is a gray cat. Um, and yes, this is a ginger color. Hmm, interesting. This is dry now. put more information on that one so I know what was going on. I'll go back and fix that up. Hmm. It's still actually wet on the Tomo River paper. Interesting. But it's Beautiful ink to write with. Just flows nicely. It's it's a wet ink, obviously. So excuse my handwriting. <laughs> yes. yes, I have bad handwriting, and also I'm trying to write around a camera. Da da da. <clears throat> Okay, this is photo paper, uh, Staples matte photo. It's in no way sold as being fountain pen friendly, but I'm trying to find an ink and a pen that works on this paper, mainly because I've printed a card on, on it, and uh, if I ever find one that works... <laughs> Looks nice. Beautiful. It really brings out the colors of all the inks. Um, if you know a photo paper that works with, if you know a photo paper that works with um, a laser or an inkjet, I'm sorry, and it works with fountain pens, let me know. Okay. Thank you. This is G. Lalo.
beautiful to write on this paper. It has a texture to it. At the corner of my eye, I see my cat about to jump onto the table. <laughs> so I'm trying to write, trying not to hit a camera, and I'm trying to pet a cat on the head so she doesn't jump up on the table and knock everything flying. <laughs> That's my life. I'm dominated by a cat. All of them feel really nice writing on these papers. Um, and here's the cat. My cat is a tuna gray cat. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to move you. Oh, and you know what? She's a heavy cat. Oh. Okay, so Rhodia. We're gonna start with this. No feathering or anything like that. Didn't bleed through. You can see ghosting, of course, but it's a very thin paper. Okay, that's the Rhodia paper. Worked very well on that. This is G. Lalo Paris. No feathering. Didn't bleed through. Monteverde, California teal did come through that paper. This is Claire Fontaine, and it came through. Hmm. So did <laughs> so, or, no, actually, it didn't come through. Sorry, it didn't. That was another ink that, uh, that came through. Sailor, no, it didn't bleed through. This is Sailor Yodaki right here. And this is the um, uh, dominant industries. It didn't bleed through. California teal also bled through. Uh, Claire Fontaine. Staples. It really sucks up the paper. It's 300 grams per square, uh, 300 grams meters squared, and it's a heavy paper. It sucks in the ink, but it doesn't bleed through. Okay. Lystrom, 1917. Uh, 80 grams per square meter, or meters squared, I guess. Dominant Industries. Didn't feather or anything like that. You can see all this a bit of, sh of shading going in there. Didn't bleed through. Actually, nothing has come through Lystrom 1917 yet at all. all. Of the ones I've tried in this method, I've had others come through, but nothing's come through the, the 1917. Very good paper. Oh. Endless Recorder. Once again, uh, didn't come through. Actually, nothing has come through Tomo River paper either. I'm sort of doing a paper test as we do this too, actually. I just realized that. Those are very good papers. This is the Pelican. I got this at the Pelican Hub. Uh, it didn't come through. Monteverde, California Green did. And the Sailor Yodaki started to come through too. No bleeding or feather. No feathering of the uh, writing though. No, nothing's feathered other than the cheap, well, not, not cheap, <laughs> the matte photo paper. And this is Baron Fig. I use this for a sketchbook, and I just pull the sheet out. I don't know if it's sold as fountain pen friendly. It writes very well, like when it, like it, when you write with it. But all inks uh, came through Baron Fig, and uh, but otherwise you can write with it. You can see spots on the on the writing where there is bleed through, oddly enough. Um, but that's Baron Fig, and I use it mostly for drawing and sketching. So there, yeah, that's, I don't know if that's helpful or anything anyway, of the two paper, uh, the papers that are, have actually been the best so far, um, Endless Recorder, uh, and which is Tomo River paper, and the Lystrom 1917 have so far been the best. Claire Fontaine, uh, I would have expected a bit more, but two inks did bleed through. Um, one came through the Pelican, that's the Monte Verde California Teal, Seems to go through a lot, a lot of things. Um, yeah, Gallo. Once again, California teal came through that. Rhodia, actually, Rhodia has done really well too. Uh, California teal did come through a little bit, and the Sailor Yodaki did come through a little bit. But um, Wonder Pen's Ginger Chicken, Dominant Industries Ginger Chicken didn't come through. Anyway, there you have it. One of my new favorite brands. Um, I'm really liking this ink. 
uh, this brand. I have a couple others from them. I have the uh, Tuna Gray, of course, and I have Dominant Blue. And I'll do, do some writing samples on different papers with those too. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, I invite you to subscribe. I do a lot of pen reviews. I do, um, what else do I do? Ink reviews, paper reviews. I just putter around. I am in no way an expert, but I do love fountain pens and I love learning about inks and different things like that. So anyway, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.